Hello, welcome to our Recap Plus channel with me, Matthew. Today we will watch a recap movie called Look Who's Back, released in 2015. This is a spoiler content video. So please turn on the subtitle and let's start the story. The movie begins during World War II in Berlin, Germany. We see Hitler discussing with his coach about war and Nazis. Hitler informs his coach that he doesn't like the greeting style of the Nazis, and he replaces it with the old salute pattern of the Nazis. In the next scene, we notice Hitler unconscious somewhere. When he regains his senses, he finds himself in a park. As he looked up in the sky, he couldn't see fighter planes of the enemies. He assumes they could be taking a rest. Suddenly, a ball comes and stops near him. As he gets out from the bushes, he watches a building. Meanwhile, the children come to take their ball back, observing his bad condition. They inquire about it, and he thinks they are the future of the nation. Here, he asks about the weight of the street. Meanwhile, we notice a news reporter, Fabian, recording the kids with his camera. In his video, Hitler's face is also captured. He picks up his army cap and makes up his mind to head towards the Fuhrer's bunker. As he comes across the road, Hitler is astonished when he sees new inventions. Everyone is surprised after seeing him, and they all take pictures by coming near him. Actually, he was interlapping the present with wartime that has been shown at the start of the movie. Now he notices a modern car, and he recollects that he has never seen such a car. He questions himself, did I go into a coma, or did I miss a victory? Now Hitler realizes that he is not aware of his situation entirely and warns himself to collect more information. He inquires about the location of the chancellery from a nearby person, but the man does not answer him and starts to take a photo. Later on, Hitler noticed a lady who was on a phone call, conversing in German. Hitler goes to her hurriedly and inquires about the current date, but she becomes petrified and sprays something into his eyes. Hitler cries in pain and goes to the nearby newspaper shop. Trembling, he becomes shocked when he sees the current date as October 2014 and collapses on the ground. In the next scene, the boss of a TV station, Karen, appreciates Mr. Kristoff for his excellent work but doesn't consider Kristoff for the post of managing director. Watching this, Kristoff becomes shocked and disillusioned. He comes into the office and bursts out his anger at a struggling filmmaker, Fabian. Fabian tries to convince his boss that he'll work perfectly, but Kristoff sends him out of the office with his guards. After some time, Hitler wakes up in the newspaper shop and asks about the present date. The owner of the shop confirms it is 2014. After knowing the date, confused Hitler inquires whether he is kidnapped and doubts it is a trick played by the enemy's secret service. He threatens to kill the shopkeeper if he is working for the enemy, but the shop owner doesn't understand and considers him an actor playing Hitler's character. The shop owner gives Hitler a bar of chocolate, and he immediately takes it and smells it. After smelling it, he states that this is industrially pressed grains and questions whether there is a shortage of bread. Later, Hitler asks him for a newspaper, but the shopkeeper gives him a Turkish newspaper. He further demands a German newspaper, but the shopkeeper says he has more Turkish customers. Hitler was shocked when he came to know that there were more Turkish people in Berlin. He then starts collecting information from newspapers. While reading the newspapers, he accepts that they didn't win the war, and Germany was placed in the hands of a graceless woman. He also realizes that Poland exists near Germany and declares that if they couldn't win the war, it would be useless. In the next scene, Fabian is watching the video for which he was fired from his job. His mother comes there while he is watching the video, and she notices something strange. She asks to pause the video and points out Hitler in the video. Fabian becomes astonished when he sees a person resembling Hitler. The story continues with Hitler in the same shop. The shop owner suggests he should wash his dress as they are stinking. Hitler goes to the laundry and asks them to wash his uniform and demands another uniform as he couldn't remain nude. However, he doesn't find another uniform. In the next scene, we see Hitler wearing jeans and a sweater. On the other hand, we see Fabian waiting for Hitler. Fabian is amazed after seeing his appearance. Fabian asks him if he could take part in the video made on modern Germany. Hitler liked this idea. Fabian takes some cash in his mother's car and leaves for his journey. Later on, we notice Hitler and Fabian taking interviews of people related to politics. After taking interviews, Hitler realized that after his regime, there was less impact on democracy. He finds resentment in the people. He also recollects that the same views were expressed by the masses in the 1930s. It makes him assume that the politics of Germany wasn't still strong. Later, when they arrive on a farm, a dog bites Hitler's finger. Hitler immediately shoots the dog, 
and Fabian gets enraged and snatches his gun. Later, he runs out of money and plans to make sketches drawn by Hitler to earn some money. Hitler made funny sketches of people, and they earned a lot of money. After having enough money, they revived the trip. Thanks to Hitler, they got a lot of views on the clips uploaded by Fabian. Fabian again visits his office to meet Kristoff. Fabian shows a video to Kristoff, and he becomes shocked when he sees a lot of views on that clip. He asks for his name and contact number. Later, Kristoff meets Hitler, and he considers him mad. Kristoff tells Fabian to take him away at that very moment. Hitler enters the director's office and asks Bellini if she could join him to save Germany. Bellini is impressed and assigns a task to Mr. Kristoff to broadcast a reality show for Hitler. Kristoff intentionally plans to broadcast a live comedy show for Hitler. As Hitler goes on stage and starts to speak, everyone there becomes silent after listening to Hitler's ideas and views. The show becomes popular, watching the show become famous. Kristoff becomes furious as his plan is ruined. Later, he finds the video of Hitler killing the dog, and Kristoff broadcasts it during the show. Everyone gets shocked, and it becomes a disastrous interview. Later, Bellini also gets fired, and Kristoff is appointed as the director. Later, Hitler compiled his second book on the 21st century with the help of Fabian and Bellini. It is named Look Who's Back, which became the bestseller of the year. Now we notice Kristoff, who looks worried as his company is making a huge loss. One of his employees suggests hiring Hitler again, and he agrees and starts to find Hitler. Later, he makes a deal with Fabian. On the other hand, two hooligans thrash Hitler for taking Germany back. This incident made Hitler hospitalized. After this incident, all the sympathy of Germans poured toward Hitler. In the next scene, we notice Fabian watching his old video. He is amazed when he sees Hitler rise from where he was lying and understands that he is the real Hitler. He becomes astonished and visits the hospital hurriedly. When Hitler restores his senses, he sees himself in the hospital. When Fabian reaches the hospital, he finds Bellini, not Hitler. Fabian informs her that he is the real Adolf Hitler, but she doesn't believe his words. The guards try to catch him, but he runs away from them. Fabian reaches the movie studio and points his gun at Hitler. He accuses Hitler of being a monster, but Hitler declares that he was chosen by the people of Germany. If I am a monster, why did they vote for me? Here, we notice Fabian firing at Hitler on the rooftop, resulting in his death. Meanwhile, Hitler appears behind Fabian and states, no one could kill me because I'm alive in the hearts of people. Actually, they enacted it for the movie. Fabian was not acting in that scene, but someone else was acting like him by covering his face with a mask. Later, we notice Fabian's colleague feeling sad seeing him in the mental ward. Hitler and Bellini are seen giving autographs and interviews to people after the movie's success. As they pass by a car, the people on the street seem to like Hitler and greet him with respect. Thanks for watching.